104.1 KRBE. I'm Laura with the beautiful Chloe, who is in town tonight for your uh, In Pieces tour at the House of Blues. How exciting. Yes, I am so very excited. I'm in Houston. It's about to go down. Uh, how's tour been so far? It's been fantastic. It's been fun. Tiring. Yeah. Energizing every time we get at the venue. So it's been it's been great. Time has been flying, to be honest. You were just in Atlanta, too, which is yes. your hometown. Yes. How did that show go? That went amazing. I brought out my sister Hallie with me. Awesome. Missy Elliott came to see the show. Oh, my God. A lot of my friends came out to see the show. So it really meant a lot. It's been great. And you have Missy on your album. Yes, I do. You have a I'm lot of collabs. You. Yeah. Chris Brown, Future. How did mm -hmm. all of those come together? By the grace of God, to yeah. be honest, you know, I'm really proud of each and every single one of the songs, and I'm just so honored that Chris, Missy, and Future graced these songs for real. They just made them that much more special. Did you reach out to them? Yes. Well, actually, the Chris record, when I went into the studio with Hitmaker, Chris's vocal was already on there, and the female vocal was a demo singer and once I heard it I immediately fell in love and I was like oh I could do something with this and with cheat back you know it was always on a wish list to have future on it and to be able to have him on that song last second really meant a lot to me as well as Missy that one wasn't planned at all I got to honor her at this Grammys tribute and right after I was just such in awe of her as I've always been and I was looking at my manager, who's my godmom, and I was like, wouldn't it be amazing to get Missy on this? And she gave me the eye, and it happened. So I was, I'm just so happy that I got to have these incredible names on my debut album. Yeah. No, and that's awesome. And it's just like Missy is one of those, like, legendary yeah. artists that it's like, I can only imagine for you, a dream come true. Absolutely. That is That doesn't even, that's not even enough to describe it. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. And I do want to point out, well, a, a quote you have on your album cover. Uh, this album is for the ones who behind closed doors are breaking and don't know how much more they can take. I, that just like ripped my heart out when I read that mm -hmm. because I think it's so relatable. And so many people, you know, mental, mental health is such a big thing that everyone it's talks so about. Real. But it's also like you don't always know where your safe space is. No, no. And I am really happy that the generation I'm a part of, we're not afraid to speak up about our mental health because it's definitely important. And the past three years that I have experienced definitely challenged me, but I feel like it was very vital for my evolution and who I am as a young woman. I needed that. So I'm grateful because I was able to write some songs out of it, even though my heart was a little broken. <laughs> and I love that. And it's so vulnerable. And that's, you know, something I think your generation also does is just yeah. like puts it all out there. This is who I am. Have yep. fans come up to you and kind of said what this album has meant to them? Yes. So being on tour, I've had one the best time. And it's my first headlining tour ever. And it's been sold out every night. So I am immensely grateful. And I am so happy that I get to see the fans up close and personal and to have some of them hug me and squeeze me tight and tell me how the album saved their life because they felt less alone, like they didn't have to battle through depression alone and things like that. That's what reminds me that this is why I'm doing it. Yeah. Because I want the music that saved me and the music I created to get me out of whatever I was going through. I could only hope that it helps someone even just a little bit. And if it does, then I've done my job. And I guess to take it more personal, when you're having those moments and, you know, going through it and, and those struggles, what brings you out of it? What do you do for self-care? I definitely cry it out first. Yeah. I think we have to allow ourselves grace. I talk to the ones who I love, like my godmom and my siblings, Hallie, of course, and also therapy. I'm a huge, you know, believer in therapy and going to therapy and talking to somebody and I just pray and I just wipe the tears and keep it pushing. So I love that. Yeah. I want to transition a little here to um, the new movie you're in. Yes. Praise this Praise on this. Peacock. Mm -hmm. When did you start filming that? We started filming last summer. Okay. Yes. Quick and turnaround. It was a very quick turnaround. And I think having it release on Easter weekend couldn't have been more perfect, especially given the context of the film. And I was so lucky to play Sam, this crazy 
you know, failing musician who really just wanted to get her career off the ground and found herself wrapped in the praise world. So I love that film. Shout out to Will Packer and Tina Gordon and Universal. So I love that film. That's awesome. And, and, and I mean, I'm just thinking like your come up, were there any, like any with Sam, with your character, did you relate to her at all when you kind of was filming it, thinking back on your process and how you got to where you are? Yeah, there were definitely a few scenes. I think the scene where Sam goes to visit Ty at his home studio, you know, where she's nervous and like, oh my gosh, I've been waiting for this moment, but she acts like she's, you know, unbothered and unfazed on the outside. That definitely felt realistic to me. And her drive and her passion for music is the same with me as well. And I know you've been in other stuff like Grownish, and is there one you prefer over the other acting versus singing? Music will always have my heart first. Yeah. But I really love acting, and I can't wait to do more of it, truly. And I mean, fans maybe won't like this answer. Hopefully, they love this answer, but would you ever do just acting? No. Okay. I'd so have to always do both. music. Okay. Always music. Even if I never release any, I'll always just create it for myself. <laughs> Good. I love that. I love that. Um, And then you're still very young. So anything else that's kind of on your goals list, like five, ten years from now, like uh, a vegan line or a clothing line or makeup? Yeah. Well, definitely sky's the limit. I think my first goal is to be happy through whatever I do. Yeah. Uh, My second goal, I want to win an EGOT. I want to win that. So whatever path I have to go on to achieve that, then that's where I'll be. I love that. And just thinking positive. You're just such a positive person. Yes, I try to be. I try to be. (laughs) You got to be. In this world, you got to be. Right. Now, I'm going to do something I've never actually done before. Um, You've seen, like, how AI is taking over, right? Yes, that's crazy. So, I was curious what AI would come up with for questions if I was to, and I was like, Ooh. what would I, what could I ask Chloe Bailey as for questions on AI? So I just want to read you the okay. questions that they came up with okay. and we'll just have some fun with it. Okay, great. Okay. So the first one um, was, uh, you've worked very closely with your sister for many years. How has your dynamic evolved over time and what have you learned from collaborating with her? It was like, Multiple parts yeah. to the questions. <laughs> our love and our bond and our dynamic has like gotten stronger because now we both have a sense of self individually. So when we come together, it just it's so much easier and it's like so confident. It's like we're forces to be reckoned with. And I brought her out with me in Atlanta for the Impieces tour, and it was just so great being up there again. Like me being confident within myself, her being confident within herself. So it's it really makes me proud. I love that. And you're such a huge supporter of her work, too, which Absolutely. I think is, you know, there's there's probably sib- sibling rivalry, but it's mm. like the support is what really lifts you up. Yeah. 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 Um, what is the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened on stage? That's <laughs> what most AI wants to know. <laughs> one time I split my pants down the middle, uh, but I had a long shawl on okay and I was on this long walkway and that's when it happened and I was like please don't let the flap of this top move from my booty that would have been bad did you like call it out did you draw attention to it or were you like hopefully no no one notices no fake it till you make it and the other night I almost tripped twice in a row nope I just acted like it was a dance move I love it I love it uh do you have any secret talents or hobbies that people might be surprised to know My secret talents or hobbies, I'm great at building Legos. Oh! Are you, like, a Lego fan? I am. So, like, what, okay, there's, like, a whole Lego world. I want to go. What is, well, I just mean even, like, the fandom of it. Like, what is the the coolest, like, Lego set that you own? Okay, so I bought, like, a like a lot of really great sets. I just bought a bunch of sunflowers, which is my favorite flower. Cute, I haven't mine too. built them yet. I just got the Rolling Stone tongue. It's, like, this big, so I can't wait to build that. Yes. I just got a grand piano that's, like, this big. I can't wait to build that when I get off tour. Yep. And I have the Black Panther mask I can't wait to build. I have a lot. I think my favorite I've ever built was Baby Yoda. Oh, my God. Do you have, like, a room in your house with everything on display? No, I give them away once I build them. Oh, I love that. Because my cat Apollo will just knock them to the floor and break them. <laughs> then you have to rebuild them all yeah. again. Um, what is the most ridiculous rumor you've ever heard about yourself? I think AI did pretty good with these questions, by the they way. They did a fantastic job. The most ridiculous <laughs> rumor about myself? That I was pregnant or that... 
I think that was the, or my butt was fake. Oh yeah. my God. Or I got my nose and lips done. There's always those. It's like, called contour and lip liner. I know. It's like people have too much time on their hands to make up these rumors. Yeah. How do you deal with those rumors? Uh, I try to ignore them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's hard. Um, and if you had to pick one song to be the theme song of your life, what would it be? I liked that one. Cage Bird by Alicia Keys. Okay. I love that. Well, and, I And, and About Damn Time by Lizzo. Mm-hmm. Girl, you know she's from Houston. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. How- do you know Lizzo? I'm way too fine to be this stressed, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we need we need like a remix with you on it. Oh, I would love that. Thinking. That song, that song like pulled me out of whatever rut I was in. I think it pulled all of us out of that rut. Yeah. It was like dark days, and then that song came Dancing out, and we're like, way. we are in our Lizzo era now. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta make a collab happen or something. Oh, I would love that. Because yeah, I mean, she's maybe we could bring her on stage tonight. Oh, what? If she's, she's here, weird? if she's in Houston. Oh, girl. Lizzo's people, hopefully they're listening. Right? That would be a dream. <laughs> well, I hope you have an amazing show tonight. Tonight, I Thank can't wait you. to see it. Thank you. Um, it is sold out, House of Blues. Yeah. Is there anything else in Houston you want to do while you're here? I want to eat some good food. Oh, you will eat good the food. the show. So much. Yes. Cajun. Ooh. Well, you're vegan, so maybe we could find some vegan barbecue. They have really great vegan options here. There's a, yes, mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah. Well, we got to make it happen. Yes. Well, thank you for sitting down. I appreciate it. It was so great to meet you. Lovely to meet you. This was fun. I like the questions from AI. I, me too. It's kind of cool. I might do that more often. Yeah. <laughs>